The Israel Defense Forces today released the name of an Israeli Special Forces officer who was killed in an operation in the Gaza Strip in 2018. Lieutenant Colonel Mahmoud Khair Eldin was hailed by the Army for his courage. I'm joined now by journalist and senior researcher fellow with the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs, Yoni Ben Menachem. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Well, my first question to you is, why now, after three and a half years of silence? Well, the uh, head of the intelligence, uh, General Aaron Khaliva, he said that uh, the army or the intelligence, they came to the conclusion that uh, the security reason uh, for not allowing the publishing of his name uh, is not relevant anymore, and now it is okay security-wise to uh, disclose his name, and this is the reason he explained why they revealed his full name uh, today. You mentioned that many details of the operation were classified then. What's the information we have now about what actually happened that day? Well, I can tell you the general picture. Uh, I can tell you from Palestinian sources, but uh, the censorship uh, at that time allowed the publication of these uh, details. Uh, there was a special operation of a special uh, unit, uh, commando unit or special forces of the IDF, and they uh, infiltrated the Gaza Strip uh, and they, they worked uh, uh, undercover for a few weeks, uh, trying to reach a, a very secure uh, communication system uh, of Hamas uh, in order to get information. Right. He was, he was commended for keeping a cool head. Apparently, he managed to delay the firefight. What do we know about that? We know that uh, he was very cool, and uh, when the special uh, force, the soldiers were, who were disguised as Arabs, as Palestinians, when they were stopped uh, in a roadblock of uh, Hamas a military wing uh, for a routine uh, checkup, the Hamas uh, uh, soldiers suspected that something uh, is very funny about their behavior uh, and, the, and about their whereabouts and the explanation that they gave in Arabic to the Hamas uh, soldiers. Uh, but he understood that he has to take the initiative to his own hands in order to save uh, the, the rest of the soldiers. And uh, uh, he opened fire and uh, actually carried out a surprise attack on the uh, Hamas uh, soldier, and this actually, um, this uh, very courageous move uh, enabled the, the other soldiers of the force uh, to escape eventually, and they were evacuated uh, by an helicopter, an IDF helicopter that landed close by and took them back to Israel. Right, you mentioned the Hamas uh, soldiers becoming suspicious. We know that the operation led to a three-day offensive against Israel almost resulting in a war. How much of a close call was this? It was very close. Uh, the, to our luck, uh, the Hamas uh, did not get the full uh, picture. It took them a few weeks to get the full picture, or at least uh, most of the pictures of what the IDF uh, Special Force was doing in Gaza, because uh, the soldiers had had to leave some of the equipment uh, behind them and some documents. Uh, but uh, I think uh, this eventually this was a very big success uh, that the soldiers got out of there alive, uh, of course, carrying with them uh, the body of, of Colonel uh, Mahmoud. And uh, uh, I think he was a very uh, hero, a very, an excellent commander, and he deserves uh, all the honor that the IDF wants to give him. So it's been three and a half years. What is the importance of his name being revealed now? What does it bring to the family? What does it bring to his story? Of course, uh, this is a big uh, pride for, for the family because uh, he was uh, all these years uh, living uh, uh, undercover. Uh, he couldn't reveal uh, his secret life. Uh, not to his wife, uh, not to the children, uh, not to uh, his friends. Uh, and uh, he died without uh, 
actually without the Israeli public knowing uh, his big contribution to Israel's security. Now uh, the secret is not a, sec a secret anymore and everybody can recognize uh, what he did and give the, the honor that he deserves to him and to his family. Do you expect that we're going to be hearing something from his family now, some statement, something official? I think in the, it, it's a matter of time. They will come out and, and say, uh, I, I saw his wife uh, saying a few words on, on the television uh, uh, in a TV program uh, about a year ago. Uh, but I think that uh, now uh, it's, they will be more open and more able to, to talk about it. Yoni Ben Menachem, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.